The East Tennessee State University baseball team took on the Radford Highlanders April 25th at Thomas Stadium. The game was originally set for April 24th, but was postponed due to weather. This game was the final home midweek game, but the Bucks still have 15 games remaining in the normal season. Wednesday at 6 p.m., fans gathered in the stadium to cheer on the Buccaneers. The Bucks shut out Radford with a 2-0 victory. Micah Katzer, a right-handed pitcher, shares why he thinks this game was an important one of the season. Uh, that was our first shutout of the season, so I think we've had like some like one-run games, but to be able to hold them to zero, that was pretty big. During the game, seven pitchers made an appearance for the Bucks, giving Radford a season low of two hits. Junior Dominic Stefanacci, right-handed pitch, shares what he thinks was the most interesting aspect of tonight's game. Uh, we had seven pitchers throw, and we didn't give up a run. Doesn't really help it much. Senior Aaron Mayer closed his sixth save of the year, and his efforts weren't only shown on the mound. Mayer scored both of ETSU's runs for the night. Mayer scored the first run in the first inning, and the team remained scoreless up until the eighth. The Bucks had six hits on the day, including two from freshman Ben Jackson. My name is Megan. I'm 21 and I'm a senior at ETSU. Um, I've always been a fan of baseball and since I go to school here I figured I'd support my school. <laughs> I like coming and watching all my friends play. This is the last game I'll attend as an ETSU undergraduate student, but the next game I'll attend I'll be an alumni. The win gave the Bucks a two-game season sweep over the Highlanders for the first time since 2012. Last weekend, the team traveled to Louisiana to visit Tulane. Uh, my favorite memory would have to be probably this past weekend, uh, going down to New Orleans and going out and seeing the sights and then playing baseball. And the Bucks dropped this non-conference series. Although the team won the series opener, the Bucks fell short. After beating Radford, the Bucks are 20 and 17 for the season. ETSU will resume conference play this weekend when they head to Cullowhee, North Carolina, to take on Western Carolina. The first pitch is scheduled for 5 p.m. For more information on Buccaneer baseball, visit etsubucks.com.